Okay, what we're doing here is we're going to demonstrate the origin of the predominant type of residual oil zone in the Permian Basin. This is our source for the next generation of CO2 EOR production for, for oil. What we've got is a cross-section that we have adopted here in the Permian Basin. This would be a west to east cross-section showing the layers of geology uh, that, that run all the way from the modern day sediments uh, through the Cretaceous down to the Permian for which the basin is named and down into the older Paleozoics to the basement. Uh, we've got over 200,000 wells that have penetrated these, this geology, so we know it very well. What we uh, are trying to do is recreate the tectonic events that have formed the basin and then altered the basin, including the original megatrap of oil that was in the St. Andrews Formation of Permian Age. We have an animation for you here that attempts to recreate the formation of the Permian Basin and shows the original oil trap that was formed in the St. Andrews Formation. And then we're going to animate how part of that mega trap was swept out by Mother Nature. The way it was in the geologic past is not how it is at present. And so what we try to do with this animation is recreate that for you. And this is our animation uh, idealized cross-section that we, we show of that was basically the basin and its early, early tectonic stage in early Permian time. And then we cut out a section of that because we're gonna concentrate on that in the first part of this animation. On the right of that is the central basin platform, which basically divided the Permian Basin into two regions. The west was the Delaware Basin region, on the east was the Midland Basin region, and it was separated by this a platform of carbonate rock, these limestones, and, and ultimately became mostly dolomites, calcium magnesium carbonates. But our reservoirs that we've targeted for many, many years are the St. Andrews Formation, which lies in sort of the middle to late Permian time. So that's where we start our animation. We're going to look at that cutout section, and you see this central basin platform on the right and the Delaware Basin on the left. And as you see, as, as the subsidence is occurring, the, the central basin platform continues to grow upwards near the water surface and then the basin to the left is filling in. These fine grain sediments we're exploiting today with shale production, and then it's covered up by the Cretaceous rock, 2,000 feet deep in many places. Then we're gonna move out to the west and, and we're gonna see the forming of the mountains uh, in New Mexico. What you see in the animation here is, is the outcrop of the San Andres Formation that, that occurs in the area west and north of Roswell, New Mexico, and west and north of Carlsbad and Artesia, New Mexico. And there the water is, is meteoric in origin, coming from the atmosphere, and comes into the karsted outcrop of the St. Andrews Formation, and then begins to move down dip into the basin, uh, the modern Permian Basin, if you will, and sweep into the St. Andrews and into this mega trap that's on the central basin platform. And the black represents the large scale or mega trap, uh, entrapment of oil. And then the water below it is the aquifer that uh, the St. Andrews Formation has. And you can see that we're changing that. We've got a big section of the, the former trap that's now being swept of oil from left to right and moving it out of the basin. And that region then becomes what we call a residual oil zone or ROZ. And that is Mother Nature's water flood. And we are now going after that, much like we've gone after our water floods. And we're going after the oil that's left behind. And we're doing that now with 12 projects. And we're successfully producing oil from the residual oil zone in the St. Andrews Formation. We think that this is the only place in the world that that's occurring. Uh, but we know there are other places in the world that, that these ROZs exist.